Hello, my dears. In today's video, I am going to explain to you how to pronounce this pair of sounds here. This is and b. I'm going to explain to you how the pronunciation of these sounds is different from each other and how the pronunciation changes depending on whereabouts in the word these sounds appear. Keep watching to the end of this video because there is something that may surprise you here about the pronunciation. So these two sounds then, p and b, are what we call bilabial plosives. Bilabial means that they are made with two lips, like that. And they're plosives, which means that we are stopping the air at the back of the mouth, in the throat, at the glottis, and also at the front of the mouth where the articulation is, the bilabial. Plosive means that we release the sound all at once. It's like an explosion, if you think. Plosive, explosion. The key thing is that we can't hold the sound. It's a short sound. And because it's a short sound, it can be quite hard to learn to pronounce because you don't have a lot of time. So before I explain to you how to pronounce these sounds, I want to talk you through first what the key difference is between them. Well, actually, there are two key differences in a British accent. The first of these is voicing. Voicing means vibration here. It's vibration of the throat. If you say, for example, these two sounds, which are not plosives, s and z, okay, you can hear for the first one, s, there's no movement here, you don't feel anything in the throat. For the second one, z, there's movement. That's your voicing. P does not have voicing, it's unvoiced. B does have voicing, it's voiced. Okay, so there's going to be some vibration in the throat for this B sound. The second key difference between these sounds is about the breath. So, what happens to the breath when we release this sound, when we have this explosion? Well, with P, there's a big puff of air afterwards. And with B, there isn't. Now, you can test for this puff of air in two ways. First of all, you can put your hand in front of your mouth and you can say B and P, and you should be able to feel it. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can get yourself a piece of paper. You can hold it in front of your mouth like this and you can say B, B, no movement. Or you can say, Puh, puh. You can really see that movement, can't you? Puh, puh. Puh, puh. Puh, puh. Puh. All right, so that's an excellent test for you to check that there is enough air coming out. So, puh is voiceless, no movement here, and there's a big puff of air. Let's have a look at some pairs of words that are different just with p and b, just because of p and b, they're minimal pairs, we call these. First pair, p, b, p, b. So you've got the hand over the mouth or your paper, if you prefer, and you should feel a puff of air for p, 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 versus b, b, B. With that puff of air, we don't want it to be super, super, super strong. It does need to be controlled. We don't want P, <laughs> P. We want it to be a little bit less, less, uh, less vigorous than that. P, 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 B, B. All right. Second uh, pair of words. Pi, by. Pi. By. Okay, again, test for that air all the time. If you can't feel the air, you haven't created per because it's so important. The breath is more important than what's happening here, actually. Pi, by. Next one. Pull, bull. Pull, bull. Pull, bull. Okay. And now let's have a look at some words where we have per 
and b at the end. So when we have p and b at the end, you still need that aspiration. You still need that breath coming out after p, but it doesn't need to be as strong necessarily. Okay, so we can have rope, robe, rope, robe. Put your hand there. Rope, robe, rope, robe. Now, I'm not saying that you're not going to feel any breath at all with b because there is air coming out of your body. So, of course, you're going to feel a little bit of it, but it's not going to be strong enough to move our paper. Rope, robe. Okay, see that difference. Feel that difference. Okay, another one. Tap, tab. Tap, tab. Feel that difference? Tap, tab. Another one. Rip, rib. Rip, rib. Okay, now the third group that I mentioned at the start. Where we have p as the second sound in a word where it comes after s, where it comes after s. We pronounce it differently here. We do not aspirate this word, okay? So I might say, for example, listen to this pair, pill, pill, with the aspiration, you can feel it, you can hear it, versus spill, spill, spill. Put your hand over your mouth. You're gonna feel no aspiration after the per here. Pill, pill, spill spill okay there isn't the aspiration here and in fact actually the way that you are pronouncing the p in this context after s after s is like the okay so you're actually saying spill spill okay it's hard to hear because we're expecting to hear the per sound but we're actually saying spill spill so let's have a look at another couple of words then we have got paid, 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 paid versus spade, spade, spade with no aspiration here. Spade. We also have got pat, 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 pat and spat, spat spat. So it's really important. If this sound is really hard for you, it's really important that you are actively feeling for this breath. Okay. So we want the breath for p when it's at the beginning of a word and when it's at the end of the word. And we don't want the breath for b or for p when it comes after the s. Okay. Before we finish, let's have a look at a tongue twister. You spilled the pill, now pay the bill. You spilled the pill, now pay the bill. Or, have a look at this one here. Tap the tab and buy the pie. It's time for rope and a robe. I don't know what that means. I really don't know what that means. Let's do it again. Tap the tab and buy the pie. It's time for a rope and a robe. <laughs> I know that this is a really difficult sound. If you don't have this sound in your first language or this difference between sounds in your first language, I know that this is not easy. I hope that video was helpful. I hope that it explained the, that pair of sounds to you. Very, very well done. I know you're working excellently hard and uh, I will see you in the next video.